Good morning! Welcome back everyone to day number seven of building my Bloxburg town. Today in this plot behind me, I'm gonna be building a hotel. You probably read that in the title though. That's probably not much of a shock to you. As you can see, we don't have a lot of space here and we're kind of working with a, what type of shape would this be? I'm gonna call it an L shape because I don't know the scientific word for it. I think I'm gonna make this place three stories. So, so far it's gonna be the tallest building. The H is making me think it's a helicopter landing pad. <laughs> Should we put a helicopter landing pad at the top of this place? So I'm gonna be naming this place the Malibu Coconuts Hotel the chain because if you're an OG you would know that Ash and I opened an actual hotel in Bloxburg before but I decided we keep up the Malibu coconuts theme but open a chain instead because you know like the Hilton hotels like that's a chain or like um I can't think of anything else <laughs> essentially we're making Malibu coconuts expand here's what the hotel is looking like so far I think I'm gonna make these balconies so for the luxury suites the people actually get a nice view of the town for anyone staying in the basic rooms they're just gonna be staring into a, some school classroom I feel like Legally, that would not be allowed. <laughs> but here in Bubbles Town, anything's allowed. Just like paying your employees less than minimum. I use these sleek pivoting glass doors and it doesn't even look like these are doors. Can you tell which one's the door and which one's the window? I'll give you three seconds. If you chose the one on the right, you'd be right. <laughs> I still have such a hard time with my lefts and rights. It's embarrassing. I'll be in the middle of driving. Someone will tell me to turn a certain way and I'll turn the wrong way. But you didn't hear that from me. I decided to use these arches because I thought they'd add some depth to this build, but it kind of made it look more flat. So I'm gonna add some pillars in hopes that they save the day. Pillars always save the day. Get some pillars into your life and then everything will be okay. <laughs> Okay. Here's what the Malibu Coconuts Hotel is looking like from the outside. I've never done a gradient color scheme like this on the exterior of a build, and I kind of dig it. And it matches the decals I already made for the Coconuts Hotel. You'll see these later in the video once I put them all up. Oh, <laughs> the basement. We're not there yet. We're not trapping kids in our hotel quite yet. It's time to make the layout. I'm not entirely sure how many rooms I want. I know I should probably include like a pool or something on the first floor. Where'd Roblox go? I'm an iPad kid. I can't survive without Roblox. I literally think Roblox crashed on me. Oh, also, I never mentioned the Santa hat. I never once talked about it. Y'all have just been watching me this whole video so far like, is this girl okay? So I'm gonna make this large room the pool section. And then over here, I'll have this be like the dining room where they serve breakfast. Man, hotel breakfast is always awesome. I have to say it. Okay, this works. This is an off-brand Malibu coconuts, okay? So we never said that it was a good hotel. Maybe like a three-star rating at best. And then guests can have access to this little lawn area right here. And they can chill and look at the passer buyers so many people live here. I have a bit of a problem right here. So I'm gonna have to bring in a basic shape to fix this. Boom, the wall is fixed. My magical skills. You totally can't tell that that's a basic shape. We should park a fancy vehicle outside this place. What's it called when people take your vehicles and they park it somewhere? Editor put the name on screen because my brain don't work that fast. Do I have three Nubis limousines in my inventory? What am I even to do with these things? Ooh, they could be a school bus. <laughs> I'm gonna paint this yellow and I'm gonna put it in front of the school and call it a school bus. Private school kids be like, My school bus is a limousine! So the layout of this place is pretty simple. There'll be three different types of rooms in all six different rooms. Actually, maybe we should divide this. Yeah. Okay, we got even more rooms. These are gonna be really tight rooms. Well, they'll be the cheap ones, so it's okay. I only have an hour till I'm supposed to be somewhere. So I'm really rushing through this. Great, an overlapping floor. Thanks for helping, Bloxburg. I think I'm gonna make the rooms very modern and simple because most hotels keep their rooms pretty simple since, you know, they can't do anything too crazy. They can't put like orange bedding. Since hotels keep it pretty simple that way, it's generic enough to work for everybody. So that's what I'll do. In the name of being generic, not in the name of being lazy. Oh crap, I forgot to make my elevator go up even more. <laughs> just wasted 10 grand because I got out of build mode. There's this little ceiling corridor right here that's not being used. And I think I want to put like a drooping chandelier in here. Ooh, that's so fun. Oh, I love that. That right there, five star hotel. Instead of doing the downstairs, I want us to get started on the bedrooms just because that's what I feel like doing right now. So let's start with this master room. The $300 a night banger. I'm gonna make you go broke on your little family vacation in this room type of vibe. So I think we'll do a little kitchenette on this wall. I'll put the bed here and I'll put a little tiny living room here. And we also need windows, of course. Oh, this is luxury. Look at those views. Manhattan skyline in New York. <laughs> no, the Bloxburg neighborhood. If you're paying the extra 
money, you're gonna get a full-blown actual kitchen. Oh gosh, four grand? Is it worth it to actually have a full-blown kitchen? I don't know, man. So here's what the layout's looking like. We have the kitchen, we have the little living room. I'd like to think this is like a pull-out bed so you can store more people in a room. And here's the master bedroom area. You know what I just realized? We don't have a bathroom. Oh, uh, hear me out. But if I scoot this door over here, add a wall right there, put a door here. Now you have a mini bathroom. Let me do that with the upper floor too. Now I should decorate this place, add some lighting. Okay, now it's time to copy and paste this all upstairs. This unit is all done. Now it's moving on to the next one over here. I think I'll do a very similar style with a platform in the corner. I think I'll do the same massive bed. I see these types of beds in hotels all the time, so it fits perfectly. We'll do another little kitchenette on this wall. I don't know why every single one of these rooms comes with a little coffee cup on the table. As compliments from the host, here's a little cup. There's not enough room in this one for an actual living room, so I'm just gonna put a couch against this wall, and I'll put the TV above the couch. I know that's not very practical, but I guess you could watch it while you're like in the kitchen, I guess. Now for the windows, it's just gonna look out onto a beautiful brick wall. And actually, if you look down, you can see people showering. I actually need to fix that before I forget about it. I think it'd be funny if you could see some spray paint over here. In the alleyways of the Bubbles Town, there's some naughty things going on. People be spray painting. I wanna add some stuff actually happening in some of these rooms, make them a little different. Like maybe I'll put a spilled cup in this room. Oh no, did I forget a bathroom again? I forgot a bathroom again. You're gonna have to knock on your neighbor's room and ask them to use the restroom. Or you know what we could do? We could do a communal shower and the shower belongs to everybody. Let's just hope people don't notice. Okay, these units are now done. Now it's time to move on to the basic units that are pretty cheap. However, they will come with a bathroom. A very small bathroom at that. And some of these units still do come with a very nice view. Some not so much though. Some of them you might get arrested for looking into a school. How I'm gonna fit a bed and a little kitchen unit into here is going to be a mystery. And we'll use the cabinets with holes in them, that way- <laughs> with holes in them. I'm so good at wording things. That way we could put a microwave in there and that could be like our little oven, I guess. Look, man, if you're only paying $100 per night for this hotel, you're getting the cheap lifestyle. But hey, you still got a view of um, Bloxburg downtown. There you go, you got a cute little kitchenette. I just realized I forgot the coffee machine and toaster in these other units and that's a big no-no. We'll also let these people have the special little mug that everybody gets. Put a little TV on this wall. Actually, I think I'll get rid of their view of downtown and I think I'll replace it with some storage or something. Okay, here's what the little space looks like. Gosh, the view is so pathetic. It's giving New York City. But it's a cute little cozy space. You got everything you need. Even got a bathroom, which is a lot more than the other unit. Now it's time for me to duplicate this three more times. Okay, I'm officially done with all of the units. Now it's time for me to decorate the rest of this hotel. Make it a cute little tourist attraction. But I do think I have to go soon, so I might have to come back to this later. But I'll do what I can now before I have to leave. I think I'll put a little piano here. That way whoever wants to, they can bother all the guests as they please. Of course, we need some signs that say which rooms are which. You're not gonna be able to tell which level is which because they're just gonna look the exact same. You should be able to place things on the piano. Devs, get on that. Okay, I think I'll have to come back to this later because I have a different video that I now have to work on, but I'll see you again within one second. We're back! It's been a few days later and now I have Ellen Earlobe at my house. Anyway, <laughs> I need to finish up the hotel. I did some off-camera mining, and I added some tables here and a few little decorations everywhere. But I want to make this hotel more five-star-ish. Right now, it's bordering on maybe two stars. The lack of a bathroom in one of the units really um emphasizes that two stars. I'm thinking we need a more proper dinner space, like a hotel breakfast bar right here. I think this will be an employees-only room, like an office space where we can spy on all the guests. Speaking of, let's add a few um cameras. Cameras. But we're not gonna call them cameras, actually. We're gonna call them, um, air refresheners <laughs> that let out perfume and stuff that smell good. Maybe I shouldn't be joking about this because this is an actual problem that people deal with. Ooh, wait, I have an update for you guys. I have a new water bottle. This is my new coffee holder. A good 40 ounces of coffee because I need it. These builds, they be taking the life out of me. Also, if I look different, I'm trying out eyelashes and I don't know how I feel about them, actually. I look a little goofy. Food warming trays. What is going on? on. This is why we invested um in security cameras. Okay, we have a station here where people can pick up some food in these heat warming trays and maybe heat up a microwaved meal. I've decorated the lobby a little bit more. Oh gosh, the girl is still outside, y'all. It's been a good 20 minutes. She's persistent on murdering me. You never really think you're going to be saying those words while filming a video. Here I am saying my fans are persistent on murdering, which is why we should make a little safe haven, aka the office employee room. It's not going to be anything crazy back here since only those working at the hotel will have access. It's gonna be cleaning products and just desks. 
Okay, I don't know if y'all heard that. Ellen is currently watching a volleyball champion final thingabiting. <laughs> I've never been really one to get into sports. Honestly, sports really overwhelm me because I start rooting for a team and if they lose my heart, <laughs> it's broken. So I stay far, far away. <laughs> We're gonna place down a bunch of maintenance things like sponges, maybe some hammers. You know, you could see them as hammers or you could see them as weapons, honestly. This is me preparing for when my fans get access to this hotel and I have to defend myself. <laughs> I completely forgot about laundry, but employees would have to wash bedding after each guest's leave. That's something my other hotel does not have. Oopsie, doopsie. You know, maybe this is the upgraded version. I'm gonna make a small room in here for the manager's office. And this is where we'll watch over all of our guests. And watch over is just a really fancy term for taking super good care of our guests. Here at the Malibu Coconut Hotel, we really care about you and your well-being that we want to watch over you. The manager's office is very simple and clean. He has a little trophy that says 30. Stands for um, 30 different allegations of spy. But he won a trophy for it, so he likes to show it off to everyone who comes into his office. I don't know why people are coming into his office through a kitchen door. To make the outside look better, I'm gonna add these planter boxes that are just glorified roofs, actually. And then this hotel can get a tax write-off because they're benefiting the planet by planting plants. That's another reason you should stay at Malibu Coconut Hotel. We're good for the environment and we take care of our employees. We definitely don't have any broken elevators at any of our chains. <laughs> I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video it'd be funny to have a helicopter landing pad up here for the really rich celebrities flying in to stay at my bubbles town. So it's time to benefit the rich even more and I'm gonna make a helicopter landing pad. <laughs> I couldn't make the basic shape any bigger and I'm not gonna lie, to me it looks like spaghetti. But here is the hotel, ready for its grand opening. And here are the guests. <laughs> I don't know if we have space for all you guys. And I don't know if our hotel serves um creatures like this one. <laughs> run, run, go, go, go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my. I made it, but um, Christmas tree man joined me. I think he thinks if he stays still enough that he'll think he won't be spotted and he's just an actual Christmas tree. I'm just gonna let him chill there while I change all the decals. Oh gosh. I just got back from finding my decals that I made earlier. Somehow the blondes are taking over still. My favorite decal I made is this one. Elevator out of service. Oh god, their faces just got smooshed. <laughs> Sorry guys, um, the hotel is not held accountable for any deaths or damages that happen on the premises of the property. Welcome everybody to the grand opening of the Malibu Coconut 2.0 Chain Hotel. I just realized this is a completely open window. <laughs> this is why we have our security cameras, y'all. Because we have a few access points that um strangers can get in without paying. We have a basic room for 100 per night and the Dulex for 300 per night. Don't tell them they don't come with a bathroom. Room. Over here, we serve food and the local TV station. They're talking about our hotel's current lawsuit. Maybe we should change the channel, actually. Yeah, that, that's more like it. Oh, God, no. If they see his really good cooking, they won't want to eat our horrible hotel food. Never mind. Okay, yeah, children's channel. That's my prime audience. In the staff-only room, we have just a bunch of junk everywhere. Actually, I need to grab a few of these. We already got a few pee and poo stains in some of the rooms. Ooh, who's that beautiful person? I wonder who that could be. Looks like we got a guest enjoying our pool. Okay, what? in the world? How is she doing a Fortnite dance? I'm actually so confused. Oh, wait for me. Off to the second floor to clean one of these stinky little rooms. Room two. Okay. Oh, here's the damage. I see it now. <laughs> that's not poo. That's just coffee. Man, our guests, they must be Delulu. Okay, the job's done. You know, I'm so tired. I might as well sit on this porch. Get a nice little view of the town. Uh, hello? Um, the blondes. They're taking over. Quick. Oh, God. Close the door. Close the door. Here's our second hotel suite. It's very simple. All the same color scheme. They have nice little balconies, and they have everything you could possibly need. <laughs> Except the bathroom. And finally over here, we have the cheap rooms. It's giving poor. I can't afford a good view. Four different people in one room and you still can't afford the $100 price. James, I, I don't know if um chainsaws are allowed in this building actually. I should probably contact management about that. Okay, it's finally time. Who wants to work here? This girl was so excited she forgot to press the E. She just said, mm. I'll hire her then. I appreciate her good spelling and grammar. I can tell that she graduated kindergarten. Exactly what we look for in an employee. Oh my God, I just gave her Cohen. I just gave her co-owner. I did not mean to do that. I am a little Delulu. You know what? I'm gonna pick James, the guy from earlier with the chainsaw, because he really aligns with the values and morals of our hotel that we need to defend our hotel from the scary blondes, which is why we have um cameras. Did I just give this man co-owner again? What is wrong with me? Why do I keep doing this? So James, why work here? Because I have a cowboy hat. Who doesn't like a cowboy hat? You know what? I like that answer. Also, what is going on? 
on. You know what, James, actually? I don't hire based on looks. That's not a good enough answer to work at the Malibu Coconut Hotel. So next question. What would you do if you got the job? Careful in your answer, man. You got a lot of people watching. Everyone would be given a cowboy hat and then I would up the prices. I'm too lazy to write another question, so you're hired. Congrats, you're hired. Everyone bow down to James Charles, our new company manager. This girl's already celebrating his promotion. Swifty Slay. She's so happy she's dancing on the tables. Hold on. Get off. Get off of that. I'm gonna have to go grab the cleaning spray again. Okay, well, I'm too busy to film any more of this video because I have to take care of this hotel now. Oh my gosh. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure to come back tomorrow for our next episode or also be very sad that you're not there. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Leave a like and subscribe for more and happy holidays. Bye, my beautiful bubbles.